Dear reader, let me start by offering my apologies for my blunt way of writing. I can but say in excuse of it that I am more accustomed to handle a rifle than a pen. I am no stranger to exaggeration, yet however unlikely the tale I'm about to tell might seem to you, it is how I remember it. For I've learned the hard way that all things live forever, though at times they sleep and are forgotten. A great name can be an even greater burden. My special talent to attract problems just kicked in again. Another thing that seems that I inherited from my famous ancestor. We sure picked a lovely day to meet your ex colleague. I very much doubt that there is ever a day without a sandstorm around here. And he would probably object to the word colleague. I wasn't a field agent back then, after all. Only intel. The nagging voice of bureaucracy, as he so eloquently put it. In any case, I'm sure he'll be worth the trouble. You're seldom wrong, Professor. But today might be just one of those days. You should pick your drivers more carefully around these parts. Professor, meet James Lee Quatermain. So many books. I thought you'd be more the magazine type. Yeah, they came with the flap. Since you've come all this way to find me, I guess you don't just want my great-grandfather's compass for your personal collection. No, it's of vital importance to our mission, and thus to the fate of our nation. Sounds dramatic. I think the price just went up. But more importantly, I want you to join our mission, Mr. Quatermain. Look, Professor, I called a couple of old friends and did some background checks on your little agency. I'm not really interested in that mythical nonsense you guys investigate. So I'm afraid I'd have to... I've done some checking of my own, Mr. Quatermain. On you. A gambler as notorious as yourself could use some extra cash. And Agent Goodwin could use someone with experience out there to watch our back. Here. This belonged to your great-grandfather. You'll need it. This is gonna cost you. I hope you know that. Oh, what the hell. Just let me finish my breakfast. My great-grandfather, Alan Quatermain. His name, a byword for adventure, and my main source of income. A lot of people paid good money to say they traveled with a Quatermain. And I did whatever anyone would pay me. Even played babysitter for a greenhorn agent. Our informant among the Nazis briefed us if we tried to get into the temple. We failed to open the gate to the inner sanctuary. They left, but we're sure they will return. Where they failed, we have to succeed. Just remember the deal. I get you in, I get you out. And that's my role done. You get your artifact, whatever else you I get the key. Spoken like a true hero. Spoken like someone who's worked for Uncle Sam before. He considered all this to be a trap. Our informant's been leaking viable data to us under the alias Shepherd for months now. We can trust him. Sure, if you say so. We have to be careful. You remember my driver? 
He was part of a tribe of thieves who believe Egypt's cultural heritage is theirs to plunder. When clearly, we all know that's Uncle Sam's job. Get what we came here for, and get out. I like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that. So much for the welcome committee. I know you don't believe in any of this, but what's inside this temple might change that. Have you any idea what might be inside the sanctuary? Only one of the most powerful artifacts to be found in the written histories of man. The Heart of Atlantis. A skeptic, I see. So what is it about this jewel, anyway? The tear of Isis. According to legend, the goddess Isis shed a tear while searching the world for the scattered limbs of her husband, Osiris. When she... Okay, let me rephrase that. Why do we need to bring it here? If my research is correct, the tear of Isis will allow us to open the gate to the inner sanctuary. Ready, Quatame? Then do the honors. It belongs in a museum. Yeah, and the reward for finding it belongs in a bank account.
many believe my great-grandfather to be a crazy liar, with his tales of African spirits and ancient beasts lurking in the dark. <laughs> I was one of them. But life has a way of changing your perspective. Aber die Tore sind offen. Wir sind so gut wie am Ziel. Good morning, Mr. Quartermain. Always a pleasure to meet a man of such august extraction. Even under these unfortunate circumstances. Get your hands off me, you filthy primate! Just a quick trip to the temple, she said. In and out in a second, she said. Great. The same symbol that it says, like in Alan's notebook. Hmm, maybe.
shoot to stop that thing. Or what? Shoot to stop that thing. Or what? Must be a way out of here. Maybe there's something about it in the old man's notebook. Wiser man would probably not mess with an ancient mechanism of a culture famous for its death traps. Talk about captivating eyes. Those statues are in surprisingly good shape. Two down, four to go. Number three.
right. Just one left. This must be our... Steamed host, the pharaoh with the flair for the dramatic. <laughs> Bravo, Mr. Quarterman. This is the second time you've helped us today. Now, if you would please step away from the tomb and allow me to take care of the hut. Careful! According to my research, the tomb can trigger this entire room to collapse! Empty? Why is it empty? What did you do with it? No magic heart inside. Not even a magic appendix. Fool! The heart of Atlantis is power beyond belief! Forged by the greatest civilization ever to walk the Earth! It must be here. It has to be! I don't... I don't understand. You! Smart girl! Help the doctor! Over my dead body! Careful, Fräulein Goodwin. Hauptsturmführer Stein would be happy to oblige such a request. All right! A broken heart can never beat. It binds. Um, a, a starving or maybe famished king? I can't make out the rest. Something about the leg of a guy. And again, you prove to be of great help, Fräulein Goodwin. Anubis, the Emerald God. He accompanied the pharaohs on their last journey. Even the embalmers wore his mask. A man with the head of a jackal. You talk too much. <laughs> That's just one part. Its guardians must have divided it up. But where did they put the other half? Well, I guess we tried. Time to head home, everybody. Great job. Not so fast, Mr. Quarterman. Fräulein Goodwin, would you please be so kind and put the fragment into the shrine over there? I'd do it myself, but uh, <laughs> there may well be more traps.